Well, a Cleveland man will soon be free from prison 39 years after he was falsely accused of murder. Scott Taylor is live at 5 with the story. Scott? If it wasn't for the Cleveland scene and a very talented reporter by the name of Kyle Swenson, Ricky Jackson would probably have spent the rest of his life locked up. You're on the street near where a salesman by the name of Harold Franks was murdered in Cleveland back in 1975. Eddie Vernon, a 13-year-old boy, told police he saw Ricky Jackson and Ronnie Bridgman attack Franks, then jump in a car with Ronnie's brother, Wiley, all three convicted and sent to prison. Fast forward to 2011. The Cleveland scene and reporter Kyle Swenson dug deep into the 36-year-old murder case and started asking tough questions. It was pretty dramatic. Uh, it was kind of a little bit hard to believe that this had all happened. Swenson discovered conflicting views in the neighborhood with Vernon's testimony. The Ohio Innocence Project got involved based on the 2011 article. And this week, prosecutors dropped all charges against Ricky Jackson. The key to it all, Eddie Vernon finally admitted in court he was lying. He never saw the three men. He blames police pressure back in 1975 for not telling the truth. Kyle Swenson in the courtroom when Ricky Jackson got the news. He uh, began to cry. Um, he had his hands up on the table um, and he had his face buried in his hands. You know, his, he was manacled, so he was, uh, you know, kind of like this. Uh, he was very, very emotional. Wiley Bridgman still in jail. His brother Ronnie paroled in 2003. On Friday, Ricky Jackson walks out of prison a free man at the age of 59 years old. These aren't men who are bitter or angry. I think they've just um, really maintained their dignity through all this, which is pretty incredible. Kyle Swenson now working down in Miami with a paper, and Jackson has told the Cleveland scene that he understands what that 13-year-old boy went through back in 1975 and isn't angry at the grown man, and that is amazing. On Friday, Ricky Jackson walking out those front doors behind me at the Justice Center. Live in Cleveland, Scott Taylor, 19 Action News.